surely you nobody would uh, snipe hook a drive into the crowd. Well, <laughs> surely somebody did. Okay, we're going to talk about exactly what happened over there at Dobson Ranch when Garrett snipe hooked it into a poor dude. All right. And I'm going to get you. I was right there. We were there. So I saw everything and the aftermath, the fallout, the the next day, couple days. Pretty amazing. So we're going to go through it and just map out exactly how, you know, cool this you know, cool. It turned out pretty awesome, but scary moment for sure. All right. Out at Dobson Ranch Monday night. Right. Uh, good. Good has um, a fan meetup. So first of all, there's thousands of people there, thousands. And we get there, we could not park in the parking lot. It was packed, we're driving up and I'm like, we're, we're a quarter, half mile down the road and cars are lined up on the streets and people are walking all over the place. And I'm thinking, this, this couldn't be or Dobson Ranch, good, good meet. No, it couldn't be. And sure, and sure enough, it was. So we had to turn around. Uh, my son and I, Sky, we parked down around the corner in a little cul-de-sac, and we had to hop a fence, brick wall with uh, uh, wrought iron pokey things. And we had to hop over that thing and get onto the the golf course and head over to. The first hole. So that's exactly what we did. And we jam over there. And it's just mobbed. I mean, there are thousands of people there at Dobson Ranch. It was pretty uh, exciting vibe. And we get there and we're standing. Sky and I are standing right there on the first tee where the kid got hit. We're right there. And I said to him, I said, hey, I'm going to, I need to run let's run across over here and so we ran across right before garrett hits and i grab um a golf cart they gave me a cart so i grab a cart and we pull around right there so literally like maybe a minute after or a minute before he hits we did that and otherwise we would have stand been sent we could have got nailed but so we're right there and we're right in the in the back <clears throat> behind everybody and that's when it all goes down. You just, whoa, and I'm like, oh man, what happened? And sure enough, this kid gets hit. And scary moment, you see the reaction of Garrett. There's, everybody's, you know, recording this. And even the kid who got hit, he's recording it on his phone. And you hear him saying, like, I don't even care if Garrett hits me right now. And then whoosh, here comes the ball and boom, he's, he gets hit. I would let Gary hit me with the ball in my line. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying. Oh, no, big ones. Oh! Be careful what you, uh, what you say out there because it could actually happen. So, luckily, this kid, Val, his name's Val. He gets hit um, right like here in the forearm in the meaty part. Right, I mean, luckily it didn't clip a bone or anything, but he could just gets hit like right there. And the kid is like, he's about six foot five. He must weigh 130 pounds. He's super skinny, super tall. He's a, a foreign exchange student from Germany out here. And so he's a high school student. I believe he's high school. He's a high school student and he's out there with his buddies. So Garrett's. I mean, Garrett immediately, he, he's distraught. He's like, oh my gosh. Like, and he's just, you could tell, he's he, he's just disturbed there for a moment. Goes over and checks on him. And everything's cool. Everybody's fine. Scary moment, right? Obviously, um, stuff like that happens. And, you know, social media kind of blow, blew it up the next day. Now, Garrett and good, good team, they went about their business and played the the meetup they played the holes at their Dobson Ranch and did a whole bunch of stuff afterward and anyways this kid Val they you know they hook him up with like some credit to the a lot of credit to the good good shop and um, from what I heard Callaway's gonna uh, hook him up with some clubs I believe so don't quote me on that but I believe Callaway's taking care of the kid and then the next day is Tuesday so Monday was the qualifying round for the good good championship. 
So it cut to the top 12. And so Tuesday, there's really no competitive golf going on. The top 12 are going to be out at um, the back of the range doing something with Repsoto. And they did like this uh, combine with the Repsoto product, which is really cool. So we're all back there hanging out. And, you know, all this stuff is blowing up on social media at the time on the next day, Tuesday. It's everywhere. And they're, you know, their memes are out there. They're posting pictures of a dude. It's not the dude, right? Then he's got a big old knot on his forehead and everybody's kind of making light of this situation. And which, which is tough because, you know, Garrett, you know, it's him. He's, it's an accident and it's just, it's disturbing. So, um, but, but it's blown up on social media. So. I'm talking with uh, Matt Kendrick, the Google CEO, and they're dealing with all this like PR mass that's that's going down. So, you know, they're trying to figure out what, to, what do we do? Is the kid's all right? He goes to the hospital, gets checked out, everything's fine. And so everything's fine, right? So, okay, so here's what's cool now. Um, well, first of all, some of the social, a lot of the social media posts were kind of knocking the fact that you know, you, this is why, you know, amateur golf and they're, they're kind of beating up these guys and the fans crowding around amateurs playing golf and you shouldn't do this, blah, 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 blah. And here's the thing that's so ridiculous because of the fact that this is done every week on the PGA tour and the pro-ams. If you followed, if you know, when Tiger Woods is playing a pro-am, he's got amateur hacks playing with him and tons of crowds. And these guys have to hit exact same situation. So this stuff happens all the time. You just really never hear about it. You heard about this because of the, the fandemonium that was taking place at Dobson Ranch. So because there were so many people there, there were more, look, there were more people there than other, there's been other tour pros that recently have had meetups and they've gotten like 50 people. Good Good has a meetup that gets thousands of people. So there's a huge difference. So this, yeah, every now and then something's gonna happen. It's to be expected. So when you go, you gotta kinda take things, like it's at your own peril, at your own risk, like stand where you will, but you know what's what could potentially happen. So anyways. You buy a ticket for the meet. There, there's no buy a ticket. You just kind of came in. Anyway, so this kind of stuff happens all the time. We just never hear about it because there's not that many fans at the other ones, even on the pro-ams, wherever. It's pretty rare, but it, it happens, and you just don't hear about it. So here you heard about it because everybody filmed it because there were so many people there at the Good Good Meetup. So luckily, Val, super awesome kid. He's fine. So Wednesday... So Tuesday, we just, they just dealt with everything, make sure the kid's okay, everybody's fine. The day later, like, are you still okay? Because sometimes, you know, the day later, young guy, and you want to make sure everything's fine. He's fine. They invite him out to come out and watch the championship round one. So the final 12, right? They're round. There was a qualifier round, so we'll call championship round one with the final 12. So he's going to be on site. Now I'm doing the starting. I'm starting the players and I'm announcing their name as, as they go. So I say to Matt Kendrick, like, Hey, wh what do you think? How about we have him announce one of the names? And he's like, ah, whatever. I don't care. And I said, well, okay, if he gets here in time, we'll ask him if he wants to do that. I just think it'd be cool. Like, I'm like, Hey man, lean into this, lean into, have this guy be everywhere. And just own it and have fun with it, right? That's kind of my my mentality when it comes to whatever PR issues. You got to own it. You got to lean into it. If you need to apologize, you got to apologize. If you got to do if if it's something like this, own it. Like it happened. It's an accident. It's not like you did anything intentional or on purpose. Everybody's fine. Let's have fun with it at this point. So that's um, that was going to be hopefully the plan if he shows up. So I'm announcing the players and the, the first two groups go off and then here comes Val to the course. And funny enough, the dude's wearing a helmet 
on, you know, just, and I'm like, this is so perfect. This, I couldn't ask for anything better right now. So they're saying hi to him and all that kind of stuff. So he, um, he gets done in the final groups, like they're milling around the first tee. So I'm like, Hey, get, get, get him over here. Let's see what we could do. So Val comes up. And he's like, hey, you know, good to meet you. Good to meet you. I'm like, are you all right? So everything, I said, do you want to help announce one of the players? Um, do you, can you announce one of the players and start them off? Here's what you're going to do. And you're going to read this name. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to tee, tee up and you'll just say the name on the card. I can't say the name because you don't know who the top 12 are right now. Otherwise, I would tell you, but it's not important. What's important is Val's there. And I said, put your dang helmet on. We're going to love this time. And, and have fun. He's like, put the helmet. I said, wear the helmet, wear the helmet. So man, just a good, good kid w was willing to have fun with it. At the same time, I said, you know, welcome. This is the final round, or this is the championship round of the good, good championship. Here we go. Now on the first tee is, and I, you know, I said, Val, Val is going to help us. He's fresh out of the emergency room, which was a joke. He wasn't right. He, he was fine, but we had, we played it up, had a good time. I mean, he's nearly a foot taller than me. It's pretty, pretty funny. Like having him next to me, he's so tall. And so he announces the name, you know, has fun. All his buddies are out there with him and they're walking the course the, the whole day. They were out there all day, just having a great time. You know, like you don't wish or hope that that happens to somebody, but you know, it was certainly a good time after the fact everybody's okay and he can enjoy kind of reap the benefits of the pain you know so sad that it happened but he's out there it was pretty funny and then uh matt kendrick and i were we were playing behind the the last group that day and you know i had this like 50 yard pitch shot to this par five and he's standing right there and they're watching us. I'm like, sweet, you know, like, and I'm loving this shot and I, I clip it perfect and it goes and it just, it, there's no bite on it. Just skip, skip, it rolls off the back of the green. He gives me, he heckles me. <laughs> like he's, dude's heckling me. It was pretty funny. So I said to him, I said, Hey, quiet down or I'll hit you with the ball. So it was pretty funny. We were laughing about that. And man, like, I'll tell you what, like it's good. Here's the cool thing is the fans that good good has they are like just incredible fans they love golf they love the vibe and the atmosphere no one's uptight no one's you know like a, a, a just a snobby golfer guy everybody's out there their families they're having a good time they're enjoying themselves and he knew he he said it on his own phone Right there, he's like, I don't even care. Good, Garrett hits me right now. Here comes, here comes, like so. They know what they're in for, and if something happens, it's like, like it's like their best friend just accidentally did something, and they're like, hey man, it, it's don't even sweat it. It's all good, and that's what I love about the vibe of that crew getting into golf. They are that they are growing the game, and it's good to see their how genuine their reaction and the response is when something kind of unfortunate went down and how they really took, they all, all of them, the whole crew from CEO to newest guy in to everybody, they all just rallied around this and said, Hey man, we're, we're together. Like we're a unit. We roll, we ride or die together. So it's really, it's really genuine. And I, you know, I appreciate that type of camaraderie, not among, not only amongst the group, but amongst the fans. So why am I wearing the good, good gear? Because look, when I talk good, good, or I'm part of the good, good, you know, experience, and I get to do some con, I'm gonna be rocking the good, good swag. So that's it. Because I'm, I am a fan, and I love what they're doing. And I have always said, like, they're gonna bring people into the game. I'm. I can help you hit a bunker shot, right? And give you some insight into some cool clubs, hopefully, and give you some private tours and we can have some fun, but they're gonna bring them in and then we'll, we'll teach you how to hit some cool shots and get your game 
when when you're ready for that. So that's it's kind of a, a win-win for everybody. So I'm rocking it, man. And I'm I'm just grateful to be part of the experience and see that energy. Thanks for listening. See you next time.